Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard for truth. What a fountain of wisdom, a treasure trove of inspiration and guidance and direction. And to God, we owe all our thanks for preserving his word throughout the annals of time. Well, hallelujah, friends. I trust that you are feeling bright and blessed this morning, that your heart is full of joy and praise, and your lips can only speak forth hallelujahs for the great things that God has done for us, his people. Well, today is September the 30th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to come out of the book of Exodus. However, before we begin, I am sure that all of you are aware of the hypocrisy that is taking place here in America within the National Football League. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to spend any time on this at all. I just want you to reflect on the madness, the craziness of what's taking place in the minds of most people. But have you heard the latest? Dr. Seuss, yes, the children's writer, Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham, The Cat in the Hat. Dr. Seuss is a racist. I mean, friends, what is happening? People are are losing their minds. And of course we know if they come after Dr. Seuss, it won't be long before they're coming after you and me. Well, with that thought in mind, let's look at our text. Now, before we actually read, I just want to say this. We come to you each day with an inspiration to challenge you in your walk with God, to teach you what it means to be a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in saying that, we're in some way putting the cart before the horse. You see, all you need to see is God in his glory, in his beauty, in his loveliness, in his holiness. And if you can catch just a glimpse of that, everything else will take care of itself. And so rather than trying to teach what it means to live a holy life, we rather should be showing who God is in his glory, in helping you see him in his holiness. Because as I stated, if you can catch just a glimpse of God in his full glory, everything else, all your obedience, all your allegiance, all your dedication, all your discipline, everything else will follow. And so it's not necessarily that we need to learn to be followers of Jesus, but we need to learn who Jesus is. And by knowing that, we will be faithful followers. Does that make sense? Well, with that in mind, let's look at our text this morning in looking unto who our Lord and our God is. Exodus chapter 15, and I want to look at verse 11. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Now stop and think about that. Let your heart be exalted. As you look into the heavens, you look at God, and your only statement is, who is like unto thee? You are high and lifted up above all others, and you alone are are worthy of praise and adoration. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Look at verse 13. Thou, in thy mercy, in thy mercy, not that we've done anything deserve it, but in thy mercy, you have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. A stiff-necked people, a rebellious people, 
a arrogant people, a self-serving people, a people that are bent toward backsliding and rejection unto the things of our God. And yet in your mercy, you have redeemed us and you are leading us and you're guiding us in your strength unto your holy habitation. We are on a journey and the end result, friends, is the kingdom of God, the palace of God, the throne of God. There will be no self-serving there. All will be done unto the praise and glory and adoration of he alone who is deserving. And so let's end this morning by looking at our text one more time. Close your eyes. Listen to these words, friends. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, among the people of earth, among the rich and famous? Who is like unto thee? glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders among men. Thou in thy mercy hast led forth your people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength and will do so until they reach your holy habitation. Hallelujah, friends. What a great and glorious God that we serve, one to be feared and honored, admired and adored in all things. Well, friends, I pray that he guides your every thought today. He guides your every step and that you will do your utmost to bring him glory from your heart, in your soul, from your mouth, and through every action that men observe from you today. Now, as he wills and until next time, I truly love you, and I'll see you on the next video.